what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk so guys you know I want to talk about um, domestic relationships um, in America partnerships between uh, usually men and women and then you hear so many women that are feminists that talk about the fact that women are being uh, abused by men and you know these are the examples that they give uh, husband and wife and girlfriend and things like that such situations are true women do suffer from domestic violence at the hands of men i'm not even going to deal with women beating on men today i'm going to just deal with these arguments here and that is true there are many women out there unfortunately who suffer from such situations i'll concede that today uh unfortunately when we hear about let's say lesbian relationships we discover that violence between two women sometimes can be either equal or even above that of heterosexual relationships and that we even see it a lot in the WNBA in sports we've seen that um that women can sometimes also show many signs of aggression or anger towards their domestic partners and today we're talking about a young lady by the name of shiny shimmel now shiny shimmel actually was a former two-time WNBA All-Star, even winning a WNBA All-Star MVP, okay? Um, at one time, she had the best-selling jersey in the league, okay? But now, here's the problem with Shiny Schimmel. She couldn't keep her weight down, all right? She, she had problems with her weight, many off the field or off the court issues, if you will. And that stopped her WNBA career from progressing. She's only still 29 years old. First round pick, number eight selection. But now these issues caused her to enter levels of turmoil in her own personal life. And she's been arrested for trying to strangulate her girlfriend resulting in substantial bodily injury okay she will be going on trial on june 14th 2022 if she is convicted she will serve a maximum sentence of 15 years now i want to i want to i want to talk about this guys because see this is very very important why are relationships or let me not even let, let me not even talk about relationships with women and women okay because we see that women lesbian female relationships their domestic violence rates can be either equal or higher than that of men and women so men have nothing to do with those domestic violence relationships so then my question is this what then occurs do women abuse men in relationships why don't we hear about it because we see when women can get together it is quite possible that their domestic violence can be either below equal or, or even above that of men and women the reason why is is that men typically do not report such incidents okay and that's why i'm going to get here here i know i said i don't talk about it but i'm i want to talk about it just a little bit there are many men getting their asses tore up. No homo, right? Um, tore up, beat up, destroyed. And a guy will not call the cops. Nobody wants to say, you know, my wife just knocked me the hell out, right? Yeah, because people think it's a joke. Yo, your wife slapped you? Oh, well, <laughs> your wife's tough, isn't it? Yeah, my wife just punched me in the face. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, your wife is, uh, yeah, she, she's, a, she's, she's, she's serious. 
that little old lady is serious. Yeah, well, but is it still fair? Because when you don't have men in the equation, we see that the women can can do the same things to each other. So then who's really playing a role in domestic violence? Yeah, because men are bigger and men are stronger. Yeah, I know, and men also are more violent. That is definitely true. But what I'm saying is this. Domestic violence should not be just looked at as just a man problem. Domestic violence is a human problem. And when these ladies do that to each other, it goes unnoticed. Nobody talks about these things. When women hit each other, everybody's quiet. Women hit men, everybody's quiet. But men hit women, oh my God. Oh my God. It's not just men who have anger management issues who need uh, some therapy. You have women that need therapy too. Women who need to learn how to control their emotions. And I feel sorry. Like this lady right here, her life has spiraled out of control. So much so that a former WNBA all-star player is facing 15 years. What happened in her life that she got so out of control that she is where she is now? You are a two-time WNBA all-star. Then from your all-star situation, you went directly to the bench, directly out of the league. You haven't played professional basketball for four years. What are you doing in your life? Oh, so because you're not doing the right thing, you take it out on your partner because you messed up in life. So now you want to take it out on your partner. But if it's a man, oh, we got to wash him. Like, it, we got to stop this this, 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 this kind of buffoonery. The, the, this is jokes. The, these are, the, like, this is, this is ridiculous. I'm not talking about women doing anything as a joke, but I'm talking about the fact that women can get away with some of these things and men cannot it's just like what like wait a minute let's be has some equality here let's look at it's time that america looks at domestic violence in situations where men are not even involved because you cannot blame men for her behavior okay yes men are contributing to domestic violence 100 percent, i agree with that but then when it's women women involved it's like oh, okay there's never yes there's 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 cases all the time it is a human problem and everybody blames men for it. And we, we constantly see that women are also involved in it as much as men are in some cases, not all the time, but enough to be like, okay, well, this thing is happening and men aren't even there. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again. With another episode of the Celebrity Jugger. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell, check out the first clip at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I'm out.